gentlemen, at this time, we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Time now for the starting lineup. Going to be brought to you this evening by the Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future. Please recycle for the Whitco Wildcats. Coming in with the record of five and two, one and one in the TRC. Coached under, uh, um, let's see, where did I lost it? There it is, Chris Benedict, the coach of the Whitco Wildcats. They're going to start a 6-1 junior, number two, Jalen Gibson, a 6'6 senior, number three, Kyler Kroll, a 6'5 senior, move in, number five, Sam Sejan, a six foot junior, number 10, Easton Grable, and a six foot junior, number 22, Riley Harmon for the Whitco Wildcats. For your own Rochester Zebras, you heard Coach Malco give them to you. We're gonna start a junior at number two, Drew Bowers, another junior, number 11, Tanner Reinerts, a junior, number 20, Owen Prater, a junior, number 23, Bryce Bogger, and a sophomore, number 24, Carson Pollock, the starting lineup for your Rochester Zebras. Rochester coming in again tonight, three and five overall, one and zero oh in the TRC. Both of these coaches have taken a team to the state finals before. Chris Benedict took Columbia City to the state finals back in 2004. They ran into a couple guys named Odin and Connolly <laughs> and lost to Lawrence North in the state finals that year in class 4A. And of course, Coach Malco took Rochester to state back in 2009, 15 years ago. Yeah, 15. Man. Seems like that's yesterday. Yeah. Well, coming up later this month as well, uh, the Rochester Lady Zebras will be celebrating the 20-year anniversary of the state championship team from 03-04. Uh, that's coming up, I believe it's like January 20th, something yeah, like that. Yeah, against Manchester. Yep, yeah, so that uh, kind of kind of a neat uh, season this year for both teams. 15 years ago for Rochester boys and 20 years ago for the girls. So uh, obviously... Uh, going to be kind of a neat time here uh, coming up on the 20th. Yeah. Tonight, Whitco, Rochester, what, is Whit or what does Rochester have to do tonight Val, to be successful against this power and tall Whitco Wildcats? Play off two feet, play strong, finish, finish in the paint. Uh, do not let Whitco's physicality get bother you or get to you. Uh, Obviously, I think, I think that's they're tall. Uh, yeah, match their physicality. Yeah. You know, they start six, uh, one, six, 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 five, six foot, and six foot. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see for Bogger and for Tanner Reiner, who again likes to play outside. We'll see who draws the, the guarding position on uh, those guys. As you know, you may see a six, three, six. Five guy out on Tanner Reiner. It just depends on the matchup. Yeah. And then can he take advantage of that? Because Tanner does have a, a good first step, and it'd be interesting to see if he'll uh, be able to use it. As we get ready to go now, time for the tip-off being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America. 
securing the future of rural communities and agriculture. No Thursday night football this week, so we're filling the void. Yeah, fill the void. Thurs Thursday night high school. We're national. Boots. You didn't know. Yeah. yeah. As we get ready to go, it's Bogger for the Zebras to jump against Crawl, and the Zebras control it. Well, that's, a, that's a good sign, right? Yeah. Winning, winning a tip against Crawl. 6-6. Bowers, six. Bowers has it off to Bogger. Bogger, top of the key. Now to Pollock. Pollock into the paint. Pollock, head fake, goes back up, leaves it short, fights for the rebound, but it comes away to Crawl. Crawl and Whitco will push. Here's Whitco on the other end. They go quickly down into Asijan, and he's going to be fouled. And foul trouble is going to be a problem, too, as if Rochester can't play good defense. And that's on Prater, his first team first of the quarter. And that's been kind of an issue on and off, all, more on than off all yeah. year for Owen Prater. They get it in to Asijan. Asijan goes head fakes, goes back up, no good. Rebounds fought for it, still loose, still on the ground. We're going to have a tie-up. It'll stay with Whitco. Asijan got a, a rebound, went back up, missed his second shot. And then it was tipped around and finally uh, a tie up here at midcourt. We talked about teams playing, guys playing off two feet. Their <laughs> Asijan did not really play off two feet. No, ball comes in to crawl on the inbounds on the near side here. Goes back up top to Gibson. Gibson back over to Asijan. Asijan into the point, up and good. Two point basket, Asijan. Asijan with his first points of the game and Whitco leads two to nothing. Might have gone away with a walk. Yeah, right? it looked like it pretty close to me. Bowers pull up jumper off the mark, no good. Asijan with a rebound. Quickly out to Whitco. Here comes Gibson with the basketball. Stolen by Reinerts. Tanner with the basketball to the hole. Up and no good. They're going to call an offensive foul, offensive foul. against Tanner Reinerts. It's going to be his first team second. And Zebras will put pressure on now. They're going to go man press against the Wildcats. They get it into the corner, into crawl. Tanner oh, Reinhardt's wearing kind of a device on his right wrist hand. Looks like some tape. Yeah. And that is Gibson with the basketball. It goes around the, the screen. Now back up top, now to crawl. Crawl has it over to Harmon. Harmon over to Sedges. Stolen by Bowers. Bowers, one on one. Layup up off the glass is good. Bowers with a steal in the layup. Ties it up 2 2 with six and a half to go here in the opening quarter. Now call, Crawl with the basketball. Again, man press put on by the Zebras. F crawl finally gets it across to Gibson on the other side of the timeline. That's the thing about Crawl and a siege in 166, 165, but they both can handle the ball. Yeah. Now they go off to Harmon. Harmon has it back up top now to Crawl. Crawl brings it to a siege. In. Now hands it off to Crawl. He'll fire away from deep on the three. No good. Bowers with the rebound. Zebras look to push. Quickly ahead to Prater. Prater with the basketball. Prater goes to the hole. Head fakes, gets his defender up off the feet, and no good. And the rebound comes away to Crawl. Crawl quickly ahead, has it. Now back over to, to Gibson. Gibson down in the corner. They go to a siege at the block. He's quickly double teamed. He goes up, tries to roll over the front of the iron, misses, and the rebound to the Zebras. Here's Pollock at the other end. Kicks it back out to Reinerts. Head fakes. Now he'll bring it back up top to Bowers. Bowers with the basketball. Bowers to Bogger. Bogger against Harmon, has it stripped, but Bogger picks it up and we're gonna have a quick foul against Riley Harmon. Wildcat and that'll foul. be the first on the Wildcats, first on the Wyman. Five and a half to go here on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Two to two, still the score. Prater comes out and Dylan Hook comes in for the first time. I like to see Pollock be a little more aggressive yeah. there. Uh, they didn't get a uh, if Pollock had gone up with that, I don't think Coach Malk would have had any problem with it. Bowers, jump shot in the paint, no good. Rebound comes away to Whitco. Whitco looks to push. Here is Gibson with it. He brings it across the timeline. Now they bring it on to the near side, now to Grable. Now off to Harmon. Harmon trying to go down low, and they do to Gibson. Gibson brings it back out. Harmon fakes a three, goes the hole, right hand layup, good. Harmon with his first two. Four to two, Whitco. Zebras quickly down the floor, under five to go in the opening quarter, four to two, Whitco. Pollock with the basketball. Pollock, head fakes, gets his man to go up and misses the shot. Crawl goes flying, an official no call. And now Whitco with the rebound. Here is Gibson. Zebras in a man. They bring it to the near side. Here's Gibson for three, left wing, off the mark, no good. And Pollock with the rebound. That was a nice screen by a Siegen to get Gibson open. Gibson not known for his shot, though. Yeah. Bowers has it, top of the key, now goes to Bogger. 
Lager fakes a three, swings it left side now to Reiners, down in the corner to Pollock. Pollock with the basketball. Pollock to Bowers, reverse layup, up and good. Drew Bowers has four and we're tied at four with 4.12 to go here in the first quarter. Walking it up is Kral, or Gibson. Gibson's pass is tipped, picked back up by a He kicks it out to Harmon. Three on the way from the right wing, no good. And the rebound's fought for. It's going to come off of Bogger. It'll stay with the Wildcats. Clark, Grant Clark and Robert Bozzo into the game. And Pollock and uh, Reinertz will sit down for a quick breather with 3.58 to go, tied at four. This is the earliest we've seen Grant Clark in a game. Coach Malco wants a 30-second timeout. 3.58 to go in the first. 4-4 four to four is our score here at Rochester High School. 3.58 to go. We're tied at four on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Could you give a shout-out to the JV team? Won the Wawasee yeah. tournament last yeah. week. Beat Wawasee and Fort Wayne Dwenger. Uh, Davis Reaney got real hot in the fourth quarter of the Wawasee game. And then against Fort Wayne Dwenger, Jonas Kaiser at 19. Wow, good for him. And, and then, they won uh, tonight. So. Yeah, the C-team won against Logansport last night. So, Whitco, after the timeout, inbound underneath their own basket. C Connor Dunphy had a big game for the uh, C-team last night. They get it into Harmon. Harmon uh, swinging around the horn. Now to Gibson. Gibson down low to a CJ up and good on the layup. Layup is good, and a CJ has four. And the Whitco leads six to four. Oh, and that's not a good sign after a timeout. Looks like they get a miscommunication on defense there. There's Bogger for three, good! Bryce Bogger lighting it up from the outside. And Bogger puts the Zebras up seven to six. Well, that's three a and a half to go. Bryce always seems to be one of those guys when he hits his first shot, he gets going. Yeah. Zebras flying all over the floor, playing a man, but they're looking to trap a couple of the players as they get it. Now here's Harmon with it in to Kroll. Kroll kicks it back out to Gibson and a quick foul on Hook. And Dylan Hook gonna pick up his first team third. So with 3.13 to go here in the first, it's 7-6 Rochester. And coming in will be number 24, Logan Hoffman. And Riley Harmon will sit down. Well, Bryce Bogger definitely accepting the defensive challenge of having to guard Crawl, giving up what, about four inches yeah. in height on him. Grable gets the inbound pass now quickly over to Hoffman. Hoffman holds against Bazo. Now they go right side. That is Grable. Grable down into the paint. Up, Kroll misses a shot, ball's tipped, and picked up by the Zebras. Good physical defense by Bogger again. Here's Bazo to Bowers. Bowers into the corner to Clark. Grant Clark with the basketball, trying to go down low to Dylan Hook, and Hook's going to be fouled, and it appears that Gable is going to pick up the foul. Well, okay. uh, number 10. Or Grable, excuse me. Grable, his first, team second. Grable and picks up his first, team second. Zebras, number 11, Rams. Reinerts checks back in. Bogger will sit down. Zebras looking to inbound. They get it into Bazo. Left wing, three ball off the back there. No good. Hook with an offensive rebound. Reinerts has it. Reinerts swings it to the far side. Now over to Bowers. Back to Reinerts. Looking down low for Clark. Can't get it to him. Picks up his dribble. Does Reinerts now gives it off to Bazo. I can tell his Seijin's a good defender as well. Bazo back to Hook on the right wing. Top of the Clark. Top of the key to Clark. Clark holds, looking for Bazo, gets him on the left side. Now down in the corner to Bowers, to Reinerts. 2.15 to go here in the opening quarter. Zebras lead by one. Bazo, free throw line jumper on the way, good. Bazo with a nice looking stroke there and puts the Zebras up by three, nine to six. I have a feeling somebody's gotten to Robert Bazo in the yeah. last week or two because, I mean, he's a, he's a great shooter but seemed to be a little reluctant to shoot when, when last we saw them. Ball's tipped, stolen by the Zebras. Ball is tipped by Reinerts. And Bazo picks it up. Bazo gives it off to Bowers. Bowers into the paint. Back down to Bazo. Swings it left side. Now here's Hook. Hook with it in the corner. Top the key to Reinert. A minute 40 to go. Bowers just inside to three. Fakes it. Now kicks it back out. Hook with it down on the right block. So Clark, he'll fire a two from the top. On foot was on the line, way off the mark. Quick rebound by Whitco. Down to the other end they go, and it's up no good. And Curl's going to be fouled, and that'll put him at the line to shoot two. Zebra shooting foul, 32, Clark, his first. Grant Clark with the first foul for at him, the, the fourth for the team. And now Kyler Crawl uh -huh. at the line to shoot two. Again, that's just not a good possession offensively. Yeah. Uh, again, a, a shot with, your, with a foot on the line is maybe the worst shot in basketball. <laughs> and then you, 
you, you're way off on it anyway. Uh, Bazo comes out and coming back in is Prater. And Bacher also in his hook sits down. Again, I, I know why Gibson's in the game for Whitco. His yeah. job is to guard Drew Bowers. That's his one job tonight. Right. But I still like I still like Drew against him. I, I, I think Drew can do some damage tonight. Second free throw is missed. Clark with the rebound, gives it off to Bowers. Bowers with the basketball, quickly ahead to Prater. Prater then is going to be tripped up, and that'll be Whitco's third in the quarter, and picked up on Hoffman, his first. Zebra basketball will inbound underneath their own basket. Good quick first step by Owen Prater. Over to the top to Reinerts, now to Bogger. Bogger back to Bowers, quick three for Browers, no good. And a rebound fought for, and Clark's going to pick up his quick second foul. And that'll be the team fifth, and we'll walk to the other end for free throws. Zebra foul, 32. One of two so far for Whitco, but you don't want to give them too many opportunities, especially early here with the clock stopped, because you have a two-point lead. Yeah, especially, you know, this guy's Kyler Kroll's averaging 21 a game. He knows where the foul line is. One for two the last time there. Crawl will have two more opportunities. First free throw of this trip is good. Rolls it around. He's got two points on the evening. One point zero lead, nine to eight. The minute 12 to go. Crawl will have another opportunity. Second one on the way is good again. Three for four. Tied at nine. And here comes pressure by Whitco. Zebras break it easily. Bogger with the basketball. Now to Bowers. Bowers right down the middle. Kicks it to Prater. Prater dribbles the baseline. Kicks it out to Reinerts. Three on the right wing. Just off the mark. Bowers with a big rebound. Bogger into the paint. Bogger will swing it to Bowers. 50 seconds to go. Bowers quick jumper. No good. Rebounds tipped around. And coming away with it will be a Seijin. Quickly down to Crawl. Ball's loose. Picked up by Hoffman. Stolen by the Zebras. Here comes Rochester. Bowers with it. Into the paint. Bowers kicks it out to Tanner. Three ball right wing. Good. 12 to 9. I actually thought Hoffman got away with a the foul there. They yeah. didn't call it, but it actually turned out well for the Zebras. Quickly down. Tanner Reiners with the steal. Zebras putting a lot of pressure on in the backcourt, and they get the steal. Bowers has it. Tanner Reinerts fakes a three, swings it. Now they get it to Prater in the corner. Prater with 12 over the top to Tanner. Tanner's got it with nine. He's gonna hand it off to Bowers with six. Bowers, top of the key. Bowers at the volleyball line with two. Bowers pulls up at the buzzer, short, and that'll do it for the first quarter. The Zebras lead 12 to nine at the end of the first quarter on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. When we come back, second quarter from Rochester High School. Zebras and Wicca Wildcats, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School as we get ready to start the second quarter. Brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America. Securing the future of rural communities and agriculture. That's Farm Credit Mid-America. Jonas Kaiser will enter the Zebra lineup as they start the second quarter. Zebras also will get the basketball to start. Leading 12-9. to Val, your thoughts after eight minutes. Story of the game has been turnover so far. Whitco with five and Rochester with only one. Okay. Got to like the aggression also by the Rochester Zebras, putting on that man press in the back yeah. and really denying the basketball. Owen Prater picked up an early foul. Coach uh, Malco put him on the bench and uh, then put him back in, and Owen yeah. just has really helps facilitate the offense. Here's Bowers with the basketball. Bogger, Prater, Kaiser, and Reinhardt's on the floor for Rochester. Tanner with it at the free throw line. Tanner looking for somebody, finds it to Prater. Prater has it left side. Prater dribbling down, picks up his dribble, now gives it off to Bogger at the volleyball line. Now to Kaiser. Jonas picks it up to Owen Prater. Free throw line jumper, banks it in. Prater with a bank shot. Got his first two of the night. That was that Memphis play that Coach Malco loves to run. 14 to 9, Zebras lead. Here's Press put on. Ball's tip picked up by Whitco, and the shot's going to go out of bounds. And they're going to say last touch by Prater. It'll stay with Whitco. As coming back in will be Grable. You know, we, we talked about uh, 2009. That's the that's a play that Coach yeah. Malco installed on the offense in 2009. Easy inbound pass, and it goes to Kroll up and good. Way too easy after the hard work of uh, defending coming up. 
Here's Bowers with it, wide open to Kaiser. Kaiser loses the basketball, tipped around. Kaiser still comes away with it. Kaiser tries to go down low to Bogger, gonna be knocked out of bounds by Whitco. It'll stay underneath the Rochester. 7.08 to go here in the second quarter. Zebras lead by three, 14 to 11. It's funny watching the body language of the guys on the bench and Luke Malko is behaving just like a coach. Now here's Prater, kicks it out to the other side. Now Reiner, top of the key, they get it back to Bowers, right wing. Bowers, down low to Prater, head fake, goes up off the glass, good. Oh, what a pass. Wow, <laughs> he had to get that through just enough to get the basketball in there. I mean, there, there was not much space at all to get that pass, but he, he did a nice little ball fake to get crawl off his feet. Siegen with the basketball, now to crawl, downhill, kicks it out. Back up top now to Grable. Grable has it off to Gibson. To the cutting, Siegen, no good. Rebound comes away to Prater. Rochester kind of packing the paint there defensively. Yeah, forcing them outside. Here's a pass in the corner to Bogger. He has time to set, it's in and out, no good. And the rebound comes away to Siegen. Five rebounds for Siegen. Siegen looking ahead to try to get it down the floor, and he does. Right in front of the Zebra bench, they rotate over, they forget about Hoffman, but it's stolen by the Rochester. Here's Bowers, one-on-one, -on -one. goes up and it's gonna be blocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester. Boy, Drew Bowers, wow. his hands are so quick and there's yeah. been a whole bunch of examples. Whitco wants a full timeout with 6.05 to go here in the first half. 16-11 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Zebras lead right here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Rochester High School after the timeout by the Whitco Wildcats. It'll be Zebra basketball leading 16 to 11 with 6.05 to go here in the second quarter. Bowers looking to inbound. Bowers still looking. They're going to have to hurry and does not get it in in time. It's a turnover against the Zebras. There were some screens, but uh, Whitco did a good job of really sliding off of those screens and denying in a five-second turnover. They get it in. Zebra's still putting some backcourt pressure on. Kind of Here. a diamond press look. Harmon with the basketball. Harmon gives it over to Gibson. Gibson gets it across. Down low. They forget about uh, Grable. Somebody didn't rotate over, but Grable misses it. And the rebound's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by Rochester. So it'll be Whitco basketball. Whitco's has a couple of easy open looks, Val, as they've missed underneath the basket. Yeah, now you got an inbounds play coming, and Whitco's had success on inbounds they did. so far. They get it into Kroll, doesn't get a shot right away. Now they get it back to Kroll in the corner. 2 3 zone. Over the top, now here is Gibson. Gibson. I like Dylan Hook on, yeah. on the top of the zone. Goes to the right side, now over to Grable. Back over to Gibson. Gibson with the basketball over the top. Gets it to Harmon, left side, stolen again by the Zebras, another turnover. Again, Dylan Hook is just so quick and athletic, but I think Coach Malka's been trying to find a, a role for him. Right. And I think that, that really, uh, on top of the 2-3 zone, might be it. Bowers gives it off now to Reinerts. Reinerts around the screen, out to Kaiser. Three on the way for Jonas, good. Kaiser getting into the scoring column. 19 to 11, the biggest lead of the night for Rochester, now at eight. Here is uh, Kroll with the basketball. Finally gets it across to Asijan. Asijan into the corner. Now they bring it back up top to Gibson. Gibson has it. Near side now to Grable. Back up top to Gibson. Under five to go here in the first half. Gibson will bring it back to the side. Now swing it back over to the right side to Harmon. Down into the corner. Grable with it. Over the top to Harmon. They go into Asijan. Almost lost it. Picks it back up. Out to Grable. Three on the way. Way short. Tipped around and last touch by Kroll. It'll be Zebra basketball. Well, the Zebra's just daring Whitco to beat him from the outside, and they've not been able to do it. And yeah. I think the other key has been just Rochester's depth. I yeah. mean, you Coach know. Coach Malco doing a good job of rotating guys in. He just brought Jack Clark in for Owen Prater for another breather. Jack Reffitt. Or Jack Reffitt. Jack Clark. He's already brought that. Grant Clark in for a little bit yeah. as well earlier. Here's Reinerts to the hole. Up and good against the Siegen. And... Reinerts is good for two. And now Bazo will come in and give Tanner a break. So just substituting, keeping everybody fresh, especially putting this pressure on in the backcourt as they are. There's a throw, overthrown, stolen by Rochester. And now Rochester will turn it over in the backcourt. 
Isigent picks it up against Clark, and Clark will foul him, or excuse me, Reffitt will foul him on the floor. Jack with a foul. foul. Probably not a bad foul. It's the first one of the quarter. Yeah, that's a very good, a very good foul after a very bad pass. Or at least a Kaiser, very... Kaiser not didn't get a real good pass to, to Jack trying to get him open. Here's an inbounds pass, and it goes right to Harmon. Oh, no good. It's blocked, but unfortunately, Kaiser was standing on the out-of-bounds line. It'll go back to Whitco. What a block by Jonas Kaiser. <laughs> Ryers back in. Bowers sits down. Let's see how Rochester does with Bowers out of the game. Let's see how long of a blow yeah. Bowers gets. Here he is. Whitco looking to inbound it. They get it into Kroll. Top of the key is Kroll. Now to the near side of Grable. Grable back up top to Kroll. Swings it right side now to Harmon. Harmon has it, and Zebra's trying to cause some confusion. They lose it, and now we're going to have a foul, and if it's on Reinerts, it is. It's going to be his second. Reinerts picks up two, second, second of the quarter. Second. Well, that's always frustrating when you get a guy trapped along the sidelines. Kaiser going to tie it up with Harmon on the inbounds pass. It'll stay with Whitco, but this time it'll be in front of the Zebra bench. And Bogger will come in, and he's going to come in. Bogger's going to come in for Kaiser, or so for Reinertz. Bowers back in quickly, and uh, Dylan Hook will sit down. Mm, Drew's breather lasted all of 14 seconds. <laughs> 3.53 to go, I, 10 points I, I didn't think he'd be out long. Here is Gibson now with the basketball. Brings it to the near side to Harmon. Harmon back to Gibson on the right side. Like a 3-2 zone now. Down into the corner, Grable, back up top to Gibson. Again, the corner shot should be open, yeah. but Whitco's, A, they haven't shot it really well, and B, they've had tr <laughs> whenever they get into the corner, usually bad things have happened. Yeah. Grable with it, three on the way for him from the left wing, or left corner, no good. And Mauger with it, there it was open, just didn't go. Here's Jack Reffitt with the basketball to Bocker. Bocker with it, now off to Kaiser. Kaiser picks oh, up his I'd like dribble. to see Jonas even yeah. be more aggressive than that. Here's Reffitt. Reffitt with the basketball. Now to Kaiser. Travels. Yep. Took a little extra step before he put it on the floor. Turnover number three for Rochester. Ten-point lead on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard, 21-11. to 11. Biggest of the night for Rochester with 3.10 to go here before halftime. Looks like Zebras are going to go about three-quarter court here. Trying to put some pressure. Waco gets it across to Seijin. Seijin has it knocked loose. Reffitt. Ball still loose. It's on the floor, and we're going to have a travel as Kaiser picks it up and rolls over. Unfortunately, yeah, good call by the official. You can't roll over. I think Rochester wanted to foul on Whitco because he yeah, rolled over because he was fouled. Yeah, the Zebra but fans did want to foul. But but that was quick hands by Jack yeah. Ruffett, who we don't normally associate with his defensive work. We, we talk about Jack, we're usually talking about his shooting, but... This 3-2 is interesting because yeah. I think yeah. Whitco's having trouble getting getting Kroll a touch here. And they do have. Harmon has it right now. Into Gibson. Gibson almost travels with it. Now back to Harmon. Here they get it into Kroll. And now Bazo, I believe, will pick up a foul. And Bazo, nope, they're going to give it to, yeah, they're going to give it to Bazo. My apologies. Now you're worried the first possession of the game, Seijin just drives right in the lane and scores pretty easily. Yeah. And you're kind of worried this might be a long night. But defense has really been excellent since then. Into the corner to Gibson. Now back up top. Asijin with the basketball. Ooh, now he gives walked. it off to Grable. Grable over to Harmon. Harmon into crawl. They kick it back out. Here's Grable three left side. In and out, no good. And Kaiser with a quick rebound. Quickly up to Bowers. Two and a half to go before halftime. Ref it three from the corner. Short. And the rebound comes away to Harmon. Probably maybe a little too quick of a shot. Right, and you can get that in. I mean, again, and Whitco's, they, you know, they've scouted Rochester. They know Jack Ruffett can shoot, yeah. and they were out on him pretty quick there. They try to get down low to Kroll. Finally, they get it to him on the block. He's quickly double teamed. His pass out is tipped, picked up by Kaiser. Now to Bowers. Pull up jumper at the elbow. Good for Drew. And another timeout by Whitco. Another 60 second timeout, 23 to 11. Zebras lead on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Outstanding defense. I, I would say maybe the win in that game would be the one exception. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is. I don't is think a, they were even flying around the court like they are uh, in, in that Winnemac game. It's right. just like all five tonight are all over the place. Yeah, and. Uh, they know who they want to shoot. They know who they, they don't want to shoot. Yeah. And uh, 
confusing Whitco, Whitco with different looks. Whitco just looks totally out of rhythm. There's a Seijin with it in the middle. It goes right down the lane around Bazo, up and good. Six points now for a Seijin, 23-13, down to a 10-point lead. Crossover by Bowers to the hole. He's going to be stripped, taken away by Kroll. Bowers wanted a foul, got nothing. Now quickly down, they go to Kroll, cutting through the paint. It falls into the hands of Herman, up and good. Well, that's bad luck there. 23-15. Bowers now with the basketball. Bowers over to Bacher. Down to the corner to Kaiser. Kaiser, a couple dribbles against the Seijin. Down low. Had the right idea. Just picked up the basketball maybe a little too quick and turned it over on a travel. Zebras. You feel like they're heading into a real important part of this game yeah. here. 20. 12, 12 point lead has been cut to eight already. And here is Gibson with it. Gibson gets it across down in the corner to Seijin. His pass is knocked loose as it goes to Grable. Coach Malko thought maybe it was off of Whitco, but it's not. It's off the Zebras. It will stay with Whitco. Gibson to inbound. Over the top, the pass to Crawl. The lob is good. Crawl's got his second field goal tonight, and with that three free throws, he's got seven points. 23 to 17. Zebras need a basket here with a minute, under a minute to go. 50 seconds to be exact to Bowers. Bowers, top of the key, picks his dribble up. Now over to Bacher. Bacher, they kind of clear him out. He goes to the paint, but now kicks it back out to Reffitt. Reffitt to Bazo, top the key with 33 seconds to go. Here's Kaiser, behind the back dribble, picks it up, into the, almost in the hands of the Seijin. Now gives it away to Bacher, into the paint. Cutting to Reffitt. Reffitt, three from the right wing, good. Oh, big shot. Big shot by Jack Reffitt. His first three of the night. I mean, if you were it, almost stolen. And Kaiser steps on the out of bounds lines as he tries to tip that back in. <laughs> I mean, if you weren't going to take it down to the final shot, <laughs> then you better make it. Yeah. And Jack just did. 12 seconds now for Whitco. Quickly ahead to Asesian. Back over to Gibson. Gibson back to Grable. Grable. They get it into a season. They kick it out. Here's Crawl with two. Crawl off the mark. No good. And that's going to do it for the first half. Zebras take a 26-17 lead into the locker room here at Rochester High School on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. When we come back, the halftime show brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metal. Zebras lead it 26-17. Giant FM and RTC TV4. <laughs> Zebra basketball to start the third quarter being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid America. And Hook has it for, or excuse me, Bowers has it for the Zebras. Original five starters in. The pass is stolen by Harmon. Harmon for the Wildcats up the other end, throws up a shot, no good. Gets his own rebound laying on the ground, but throws it into the hands of Prater. Prater with the basketball. Prater has his pass stolen. Yikes, an ugly first 22 oh, seconds of no the kidding. second half. Here is uh, Gibson with the basketball. Gibson has it against uh, Carson Pollock. Rochester and a man to start the second half. Now on the far side, it's Kroll. Kroll trying to set some people up how he wants them to uh, get the ball to him. With Prater guarding Asijin yeah. and Bogger guarding Kroll. And here is now Grable with it. Now over to Asijin. Over by Prater, like Val said. Now they give it off to Kroll. Kroll backs his way down, up and over the front of the rim. No good. And a rebound to Tanner Reinerts. Good Zebras. defense again. Zebras look to push. Boy, well, Bryce Bogger's defense yeah. has been as good as can be expected. Now he gets it off to Reinerts. Reinerts down in the corner now to Prater. Prater will dribble in. Now give it off to Pollock. Pollock swings it right side. Now over to Bowers. Bowers in the paint. Got a little bump. No call. Here is Reinerts. He's going to get a bump, and that's going to be a call against the Seijin. That's going to be his first, team first of the quarter. Well, like the aggressiveness from Tanner Reinerts there. This is the only TRC game tonight. Two TRC games tomorrow night with Lewis Cass at Northfield and North Miami at Manchester. North Miami just running into a buzzsaw yeah. of a schedule themselves, yeah. just like the Zebras are right now. There's Bowers with the basketball. Bowers against Gibson. Now off to Bacher. Bacher, weather with basketball over the top to Reinerts. Tanner, left wing. Now we'll chip it out to Bowers. Now to Pollock, top the key. Seaver's being very patient here with this possession as they look to get the open person. Coach Malco calling out a different play and we'll reset. Bowers has it. 
Now to Prater. The handoff to Bowers. Prater tries to go back door. They can't do so. Bowers will go around the screen. He'll take an elbow jumper. To try to go over the front of the iron. No good. And here comes Whitco with the rebound. Quickly ahead. Down to Asijan. Asijan then has his shot blocked, but they're going to call a body foul, I believe, before. And that's going to be on Prater. It's going to be his second. Team first of the quarter. But that will send Asijan to the line to shoot two. Six points, no free throws attempt so far for Sam Asijan. But the big game involving a TRC team tomorrow night, McConaughey at Tipton. Yeah. First free throw is good. That'll be a battle. Josiah Ball, the reigning player of the week in the state after yeah. scoring 45 in the Miami County Invite title game against Peru, taking on a Tipton team that is 10-0. and And if you've never been to a basketball game at Tipton, that's one of the great gyms. I love going to the... I love going there. Free throw is missed. Here's Rochester with the basketball. Bowers has it. Now to Pollock. Pollock, right corner. Pollock looking, looking over the top. Now to Whit Whitco Reiners. in a 2 3 zone. Yeah, trying to take those three point shooters away. Here's the pass now off to Pollock. He penetrates in, kicks it back out. One more pass to Bowers. Three on the way. Good. First three for Bowers. He has nine on the evening. Good pass by Bryce Bogger. 29-18, Zebras lead. Five and a half to go, and we're going to get a travel on a season. Zebra defense again, making uh, a season do something that he didn't want to do, and he ended up traveling. Well, the first two and a half minutes of the second half have not been pretty, no. but the Zebras have survived it, and now up by 11 again. Bowers has it, and, or excuse me, Prater has it. It's going to be knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Grable. It'll stay with Rochester in front of the Whitco bench. Carson Paul has played some football, hasn't he? Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. 29-18. <laughs> Here comes the Zebras. They get it into the middle to Prater. Goes around the defender. Off to Bacher. Out to Tanner Reinerts. Fakes the three, dribbles in. Loses it, picks it up. Now to Prater. Prater, back to Tanner. Tanner. Kicks it out to Bryce. Bryce has it. Now to Pollock. Boy, Whitco recovers well defensively. Tanner, deep three on the way. Good! Tanner Reinerts with his second three. He's got eight toward the night. 32-18. Boy, that, if you're Coach Benedict, you're just going to be shaking your head. I thought Whitco played pretty good defense yeah. that possession. Tanner just drilled a 23-footer. Gibson with the basketball. Now over to Asijan. Asijan against Prater. Over the top. Now to Gibson. Gibson? Yeah, you don't have to worry about Gibson. He's, no. he's not going to shoot. Here's a three on the way for Kroll. Strokes it. Good. That guy is going to shoot, and that's Whitco's first made three of the game. And he gets ten points now for Kroll, and it's 32-21. Over the top to Reinert. He breaks it across the timeline. Walker, 15-footer short. Follows his shot, gets his own rebound. Goes up. No good. Rebound fought for again. It goes off to Bowers. Cross court to Tanner. Three in front of the Zebra bench. Off the mark. No good. Hit by Prater. Prater has it. He'll dribble it back out to Drew. Zebra, three offensive rebounds in this possession alone. Great, Battle. Yeah, great effort. Bowers left wing three. Rims in and out. No good. And Asijan will pull down the rebound. And now they'll get it quickly ahead to Harmon. Harmon with it. Now back up top to Gibson. Left side to Asijan. Into Crawl. Crawl guarded by Bacher. Now they give it up to Grable. Grable. To Crawl, three on the left side, off the mark, no good. Ooh. Tanner with a rebound. Crawl thought he had made it. Yeah. Reinerts has it, top of the key, right side now to Bryce. Bryce goes down low to Pollock. Pollock at the block, working down low. Now he's going to have to pick up his dribble and he keeps it back out to Bryce. Bryce to Prater in the corner, back out now to Pollock. I still like to attack Hoffman defensively. Yeah. Zebras have it. Good job by Gibson staying in front of Bowers. Zebras have it into the paint. Now up top to Pollock. Now to Bacher. He'll fire a three in the face of Cole, and it's good. And Zebras want a timeout. It is a 30-second timeout with 2.47 to go here in the third. 35-21. Zebras lead it. Three-pointers made in this game. Rochester with six and Whitco with one. Yeah, that's that the difference. Is, that's plus 15. On the scoreboard in a game that Rochester is leading by 14. Right. 2.47 to go here in the third on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. 
Hoffman will come into the uh, Whitco lineup. Grant Clark, who uh, played a little bit in that first quarter, will check back in here in the third for the Zebras. Pollock will sit down for Rochester. Another big game involving a TRC team tomorrow night, Oak Hill at Peru. Yeah, big one there. The Tigerina see Peru can, Peru of course, beat North Miami earlier in the week. That Oak Hill will be a big test. Whitco with the basketball. Here's Gibson. Zebras in the man, chasing everybody everywhere. Whitco with like a horn set. Yeah, Walker has it against, or is guarding Crawl. Now they give it up top. Here's Harmon. Three on the way for him. Good. Harmon strokes that one in, and he's got seven. 35-24. Pressure put on by the Wildcats. They get it ahead to Clark. Clark dribbles out of trouble. Now gives it off to Prater. Prater into the paint. Now to Tanner Reinerts. Right side now to Bowers. Back down low to Clark. Clark loses it. Ball's loose on the ground. as Whitco, and it's going to be picked up by a Seijin. A tremendous quickly effort by Gibson. To, quickly ahead to Harmon. Harmon will back it back out as Tanner Reinerts was there to stop him. Now they go to a Seijin. Right side, Seijin dribbles in and travels. Yeah, he got hesitant. Yeah. Uh, Rochester almost kind of, it was almost like a little bit of a blitz, but again, it starts with good defense by Bryce Bogger. Returning to the zebra lineup, 15, Robert Basso. <laughs> Zebras have it. Zebras have it after the turnover. Back here at Rochester High School, apologize. Here is Zebras. Prater with a shot. Up, no good. And we're going to have a foul. It's going to be against Rochester. Zebra foul, number two. Against Bowers. Drew Bowers. First, team second. Bowers picks up his first foul, the team second of the quarter. We have played nearly 23 minutes of basketball, and Rochester has not attempted a free throw yet. Zebras uh, on defense now. So Whitco with a basketball. That was a clean block by Crawl, though, no doubt. Whitco has the basketball. Whitco on the right side. Kicks it out to Asijan. Asijan has it now. Two on the way for him. No good. That shot just looked flat coming out of his hands. Zebras have it on the other end. Zebras with it. Top the key. Now they go down low to Prater. Prater has it. Right side. Down low. The ball's knocked loose. We're going to have a tie up. Jump ball possession turns over. And Rico. turnover on the Zebras. And reentering for the Zebras, number four, Dylan Hook. That is turnover number 10 for Rochester, 12 for Whitco. Five turnovers this quarter for the Zebras. Zebras have the basketball. But they've actually extended their lead. They led by nine of the half. They lead by 11 now, despite the five turnovers this quarter. Zebras on, on defense, 35-24. Zebras have uh, playing defense. Down low, goes up a shot by a Seijin, or excuse me, that's Crawl, no good. Crawl will score the two and get fouled, and that'll cut the lead 35-26. Little high-low play. Zebras. On the foul, Crawl at the free throw line. He'll have one. Crawl's free throw on the way and makes it. Zebras with the basketball. Pressure put on now by the Whitco Wildcats. That's the thing about Crawl. He's not just 6'6", but he's an athletic 6'6". And the Zebras have it. Down on the other end, Zebras with the basketball. Top of the key. Shot up, no good. A season with a rebound. Now, into the corner. Kick back out. Here's Crawl, three on the way, off the mark, no good, and that will do it for the quarter. Sorry about that technical difficulties on the WROI side at the end of the third quarter. Zebras lead at 35-27 as we'll take a timeout and come back with the fourth quarter here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. 
as the Zebras lead heading into the fourth quarter, 35-27. Fourth quarter, start of the fourth quarter being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America, securing the future of rural communities and agriculture, and it will be Zebra basketball to start the quarter. Val, a pretty big quarter for the Zebras. It's about finishing now. They've done everything that they've needed to do through the first three quarters to win this game. Uh, again, Whitco still struggling a bit to get into rhythm offensively. And all their scoring has been from three guys. Rochester with much more balanced scoring. I think Gibson's done a pretty good job on Bowers. So now here's Rochester with it. They double team Bogger. His throw is almost stolen. Picked back up by Prater. Prater with it now. Top of the key to Reinert. It's three on the way for Tanner. Too hard. And the rebound fought for. And we're going to have a tie up. It'll go to Whitco. Some Zebra fans uh, wanting a foul, but uh, no foul called. Zebras will put pressure on here. Well, that, there was a cross-court pass in that possession. That was a, basically the equivalent of a Hail Mary that Owen Prater somehow caught, but you could tell that shot from Reiners was long coming out of his hands. Here is it. That's Over good. and back, yeah. Gibson made a, a risky pass to Crawl right in front of the bench, and then Crawl was almost falling out of bounds, so he threw it back to Gibson. Right, and Gibson got caught staring yeah. for a second. He go, oh, I'm not, I'm not past half court. Yeah. So, some quick turnovers and a foul here with 30 seconds gone by, and or no foul, and uh, Zebra's back with the basketball, still leading 35-27. Here is Rochester with the basketball. Locker down low to Kaiser. Kaiser at the block, loses it. Ball's loose, picked up by Prater. Prater's going to have to get rid of it, and finally does to Bowers. Now, Kaiser in the paint, kicks it out to Tanner. To the hole, layup up. They're going to call a foul. Two officials call the offensive foul, so definitely an offensive foul on Prater, or excuse me, on Tanner Reinerts. His third, just the team first of the quarter. Hoffman will come back in. Well, that was a heck of a play by Owen Prater to get it out of there and get the ball back moved around. Both Prater and Jonas Kaiser were close to three-second violations. Yeah. Rochester, here. a little bit of pressure here, not yeah. a not a ton, but a little, little bit like of token. 2-2-1, two, two, and we haven't seen that in this season. Decision to the hole, layup, no good. Rebound comes away to Prater. Nice job by Reinerts defensively. Here is Bowers with it, into the paint, free throw line, jumper good. Yeah, a little kind of, I think a little bit of a screen to get Bowers just enough space to get him going downhill. He's got 11 now, does Drew Bowers. 37-27, back to the 10-point zebra lead. Over the top they go to Grable. Grable has it, now over to the Gibson. Good defense by Drew Bowers. Back to like a 1-2-2, 3-2 type zone. Gibson has it, now goes over the far side off to Harmon. Down low to a Seijin. A little bit of run and jump as well. Gibson gives it up quickly to Crawl. Back to Gibson. He's quick clouding his hands. Now to Harmon. He drives down in the corner. He's double teamed. And Bowers are going to tie him up. Turnover Whitco. It'll be Zebra basketball on the possession arrow. 14 turnovers for Whitco, 11 for Rochester. And Hoffman will come in. And Grable will sit down. And... Coach Benedict says, I want to press. I'm not sure he has a choice here. Yeah. And Bowers will let everybody clear out. He'll bring it up against Gibson. Gets it across the timeline. Bowers behind the back. Gibson's in his jersey, but Bowers doing a great job. Bounce pass, hits Bogger in the, in the chin, but he's able to stay focused <laughs> and picks it back up. Here's Prater with it. Prater dribbles down, jump stops. Whitco fans wanted to travel, but I, I think he kept that foot. Kaiser has it now in the corner. Kaiser into the paint. Left hand layup up and go. Oh, you love it. Right into the chest to crawl yeah. to give himself some space. That's how you do it against a shot blocker. Kaiser now with two more. He's got five. Here's a diamond token pressure. Tipped out of bounds by Reinerts as Crawl was coming for it. And Coach Benedict not happy with a lot of okay. players right now. And he substituted again as he quickly brings out Huffman and brings uh, Grable back in. 5.26 to go, 39-27, Zebra's lead. Again, Kroll and Asijan are good shot blockers, but he can't be afraid of them. Ah, Kroll gets the pass, turns around, throws it right to Asijan. Easy layup for him, and it's 39-29. That's... And we're going to have a turnover on Rochester right in front of the Zebra bench. 
That inbounds play has probably been in Coach Benedict's yeah. uh, playbook for a long time. That's uh, Whitco's got 29 points and about, what, three or four buckets and inbounds plays in this game? Right. Tanner Reinerts knocks it loose. Ball's on the ground, and we're going to have a tie-up. It'll stay with Whitco. 5.05 to go. A 10-point zebra lead on the Jenny's Insurance scoreboard. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. It's been an exciting one here for the zebra fans. It's the sixth held ball in this game. <laughs> Harmon with it. Usually you see that in girls' games. Top of the key. He'll fire an open three off the mark. No good. Ball's tipped right into the hands of Kaiser. Kaiser then is going to be fouled. And the foul, I believe, is going to be on a season. And it is his second. And it's going to be the team first of the quarter. Wildcat foul number five, a season. And coming back in will be Hoffman. Zebras want a timeout. It's a 60. 4.55 to go. 10 point lead for Rochester. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Reinert. Reinert will hold in front of the bench, and now they're going to be a foul on Seijin as Whitco seems to be a little more aggressive here with uh, 4.48 to go. And that's the season's third team second third of the quarter. Second. Because they pretty much triple team Reinhardt's on that pass. Yeah, Zebras were definitely well prepared, though, on the press break. Here is the Bowers on the inbound. Bowers guarded by Gibson. Gibson right in his grill. Bowers do a good job of holding on to it. Now to Prater. Prater into the paint. Kicks it back out to Kaiser. Kaiser has it and saved by Prater. Whew. Good job by Owen Prater, yeah, paying he, attention. Yeah, Bryce Boggers got to come to the pass. Yeah. Uh, that was not a bad pass by Kaiser. Boggers got to come to it. Reinerts leaves it down low for Prater. Head fake up off the glass. Oh, is good. Good basketball. What a great pass by Tanner Reinerts. 41-29 and a foul from Kaiser in the backcourt. Kaiser going to pick up his first. Team second, second of the quarter. So back in Grable. will be Grable for Whitco. And here's Gibson with it. Gibson down to the corner. Now back to Gibson. Swing it top of the key to Harmon. Harmon goes to Grable. They try to kick it back out. Here is a Sejan with it. Sejan picks good, up his dribble. Good help by Reinerts. Three on the way for Harmon off the mark. No good. Trader with another rebound. Prater looks ahead, he sees open floor, and he'll dribble it right down. Now he'll kick it back up top. They swing it right side to Kaiser. Kaiser to Bacher. And Bacher is going to be knocked out of bounds by Gibson. Whitco doing a great job of uh, switching, too, because usually Gibson's been on, on Bowers, but able to switch around. Well, this is Pollock will come in. Kaiser will sit down for Rochester. Also in is Hoffman for Whitco. That was almost the announcer jinx I was going to say. Wow, this says a lot that Jonas Kaiser still in the game in <laughs> crunch time in the fourth quarter of a conference game, and then immediately coach takes him out. But still. Yeah, still pretty good. Jonas has really helped yeah, out tonight. He has. He has been a big factor. Locker with the basketball. Under the corner to uh, Reinerts. Three on the way. Off the mark. No good. Tipped out and picked up by Prater. Prater has the basketball. The Bowers, three on the way. Off the mark, no good. Kiter, Bacher with a rebound, up, no good, but a foul coming against Whitco. Zebras are just dominating these boards with these taller guys. I love the effort. Okay. Yeah, this is just, yeah. We talked about the Win the Winnemag game earlier. This, this yeah. surpasses it now. I, I mean, the shot selection hasn't been great. You don't like shooting threes with a 12-point lead in the fourth quarter. Bacher with a free throw, off the mark, no good. Or at least you better make them, but, I mean, Rochester just keeps getting offensive rebounds. And Grable back in for Whitco. 3.21 to go, 41-29. Zebra lead on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Bryce looking to add to this. Free throw he is good this time. Those are the first free throws Rochester Zebras have attempted. That's 42-29. Down low, here is uh, Grable, misses a shot, rebound, good crawl, up and good. Crawl, now here's Rochester quickly down, Prater has it, kicks it out to Reinerts. Reinerts, right wing, around the screen, but dribbles baseline, pass is stolen. Steal by Gibson, another turnover on the Zebras. 
Here's Gibson, quickly ahead. Now he gets the ball back to swing it to the top to Seijin. Now to Harmon, now to Gibson, back to Harmon. He'll shoot a three off the mark, no good. Prater with a rebound. Well, the fact that Harmon didn't take the first wide open three is a sign that he's not very confident in his Pollock shot. at the other end, good, wide open. Bowers with the assist. And uh, Zebras looked way up ahead and saw that big opening. Harmon with it. Over the top, now to Kroll. Kroll layup up at good. And a timeout by the Waco Wildcats. It is just a 30 second timeout with 2.25 to go in the contest, 44-31. I don't think Coach Benedict was very happy that the Zebras got that wide of an open layup after the press put on. And the, the Zebras have been looking, mm -hmm. I mean, they've been seeing those passes all game too. Uh, it's just been a complete effort by Rochester. Zebras lead it here with 2.25 to go. Don't forget, coming up at the conclusion of tonight's game, the post game brought to you by Perkins and Adley, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs, formerly known as Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. Starting January 1, it became Perkins and Adley. So they'll have the post game show, and we'll also have the difficult uh, decision of an in your hardware player of the game, as a lot of players have contributed to the, this success so far right now for Rochester. Yeah, they're going to make it hard. They're making it hard on us, no <laughs> doubt. 11 point zebra lead. They have it at the end to bring the, the whole distance. Bowers to inbound. Whitco to press. They get it to Reinerts. Quickly ahead to Prater. Prater loses it and picked up by Pollock. Top the key to Bowers, now to Tanner. Coach Malco calls out the play that he wants. Bowers has it against Gibson. Bowers on the floor now, Bowers. And we're gonna have a foul. Wicko being very aggressive. Right, and Gibson has a look on his face like, I'm not doing anything I haven't done all game. Right, right. That's his first, team's fourth. So the Zebras will shoot. And he's not, he's not wrong. No. The Zebras will be at the free throw line the remainder of the game. Here's Bowers, goes around, crawl, crawl. Falls down, and the Zebras are able to get it. Prater, Prater got lucky, got bailed out by crawl as Prater just turned to throw it, and there was nobody there for Rochester. And now team number five, as crawl picks up his first, Prater will go to the line. Almost a turnover on the Zebras. The Seijin has not been a big factor offensively this half, and he's averages 15 a game. No. He really hasn't been a factor defensively either. I mean, on the boards like you would have thought with his height. Right. I mean, Zebras have done a great job of blocking him out. First free throw's good. Huffman okay, out Grable. and Grable back in. 45-33, exactly two minutes to go here in the contest. Crawl has almost single-handedly kept Whitco in this game. Free throw for Prater. You can hear a pin drop in the gym. Free throw is good. Oh, and Prater gets it. Zebras want a timeout. It is a 60 second timeout as Prater puts him up 46 33. Back with more after this Giant FM and RTC TV4. After the Zebra timeout, Whitco has it. Zebra putting a little pressure on in the back. Court, just token pressure. Carson Pollock against Gibson. Gibson with the basketball. Goes to the hole, kicks it back out, top of the key. Here's a three ball by a season. No good. Rebound tipped around. Reinerts comes away with good it. Good defense again by Rochester. Knowing the scouting report. Don't don't run at Gibson. If he makes a shot, tip your hat, but yeah. make sure a season doesn't get open. And now a quick foul on the other end by Grable. It's going to be his second, and that'll put Owen Prater back to the line for two more. Prater has eight points on the night. This could put him in double digits if he can sink both of these. There are a lot of people in the TRC who are going to look at this score and go, wow. Yeah. If this Free holds throw. up. Good for Prater. 47. 2.33, 90 seconds remaining. And this is a Whitco team that blew out Lewis Cass, that beat Wawasi. They have some really good wins on the year. Second free throw, good. I believe they have a win over Columbia City. 48-33. That's a good Columbia City team this year, yeah. too. 
Here's Gibson with the basketball. Now to Harmon, over to Estegen. Trying to go down low to Crawl, they can't get it. Harmon, straight away, three is good. And a timeout by the Whitco Wildcats. And Zebras lead now 48-36 with a minute 18 to go. Well, I love the energy the Zebras have brought all game long. And, you know, we talked about can they finish it. And so far, with a minute 18, they've answered the, they've answered the bell. I have one timeout left for each team. Okay. It's uh, unofficial. Zebras will inbound underneath the Whitco basket. They got to get it in, and they finally do to pray, or excuse me, to Tanner. Tanner gets it across to Bryce. Bryce with the basketball. He's going to be fouled, and that's going to be on the season. He'll pick up his fourth, and that will send Bryce Bacher to the line to shoot two. And he'll have two here. First one on the way. Bryce's free throw is off the back iron, no good. When he misses, he misses to the right. Yeah. Coming and out is Hoffman, back in is Grable for Whitco. See what Bryce can do here. 48-36, 12 point lead. We're gonna get him fixed, right? Him and Jaden. There it is. Him and Jaden Field. <laughs> Barger makes one of two. It's now 49-36. Token pressure put on to make Whitco run some clock here to get it across. But it, it, Crawl going coast to coast, goes up, no good. Rebounds fought for, Bowers comes away with it. Bowers gets rid of it and they're gonna call Bogger out of bounds on the sideline as he lost it and then tried to dive for it and his body touched the out of bounds. Back to Whitco with 58.6. Oh, he, he had a timeout left. Over the top, stolen by Bowers. Bowers with the steal, quickly ahead to Bryce. 50 seconds remaining. Bryce will dribble it back up top. Well, the, the fact that Whitco's not fouling yeah, here is a sign that- I was gonna say, if they haven't fouled yet, that this is a, a white flag situation for Coach Benedict. 49-36, 35 seconds to go, now they foul. <laughs> I guess, I guess well, Crawl wasn't no, thrown in the white Kroll, towel. His second. his second, but Bowers back to the free throw line with 36.9. Zebras lead it by 13. Rochester about to be 2-0 in the conference with a trip to Lewis Cass next Friday. Bowers free throw, uh, no to, good. To face the team that knocked them out of sectional last yeah. year. Under a new coach this year. A, a totally different looking Lewis Cass yeah. team. They are a guard oriented team this year. Second free throw is good for Bowers. Here is Whitco, Gibson with the basketball. Gibson quickly down to a season. He goes in and they're gonna call a foul on Rochester. I think he just lost his balance, but Prater gonna pick up his third and hats off to Owen Prater. He picked up an early first foul, played the rest of the game in and out, and now just picking up his third with 30 seconds to go. A season, three or a 15 footer on the way, no good. Prater gets the rebound. Prater to the hole, kicks it back out. Bowers layup, up and good. 52-36, three on the way for Crawl. Nails it deep. And it's 52-39, quickly down to Pollock. Pollock will dribble it back out, and is going to foul him with 6.6 .6 seconds to go. And the Zebras will move to 2-0 in the TRC. After a gutsy performance tonight, the Siegen fouls out with his fifth foul. Fouls out with just nine points on the night for Sam Asijan. Remember he averages 15. Yeah. Great job by the Zebras. As Pollock now goes to the free throw line. Two points for Pollock on the night. He's got two free throws here coming. First one's good. Zebras will bring Ruffett back in. Also coming in, Davis, Davis Reaney and Hunter Honkamp will enter the game. 53-39, Pollock with a second free throw. Luke Malco in there. Oh, yep, Luke came in too. Luke he is stuck this, in before I could he, see him. He's this year's Trent Reinhold. And there is the second free throw good by Pollock. 
And at the buzzer, it is a three by Kroll. No good, and that'll do it. The final. Zebras move to 2-0 in the TRC by defeating Whitco 54-39 on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. When we come back, the postgame show brought to you by Perkins and Adley right here on Giant FM and RTC TV4.